I'm Spencer. I'm Eric. And I'm here until yawn. And this is the itch. Fucking, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we're here to review <laughs> until <laughs> dawn. dawn. I'm surprised I was able to say that because I keep forgetting the name of this game. We just That's said it like much. four times before we started this That's recording. how much of an impression it left on you. I know. Oh, man. Until Dawn. So, Until Dawn, what is it? I'll tell you. <laughs> it's a survival horror game. Uh, more What's the, that? I'll tell you. <laughs> what's that? What survival horror, you might ask? Uh, let me tell you. It's a game where you try to survive a horrible incident. And mm-hmm. in this one, you're six, you're eight or so campers, and you're going up to a cabin in the woods. But some weird stuff happened in the past, and you're kind of getting over it. So you, you hang up, you hang out with your friends at a, at a cabin, and things go awry, Can as things just... tend to do at a cabin. Uh, anyway, uh, so, Daniel. so basically, that's the whole point of it: is that you're trying to survive this horror. Now, the gameplay of it is more of a, it's like heavy rain. Let me let me just okay. Let me start Here with the go, positives. Bro. I'm going to shoot some positives out here because I want to create some positive vibes. We're going to make an Oreo here. You ready? <laughs> Why milk? are you looking at me for it? Yeah. All right. I'm okay. Oreo? I'm a reverse Oreo. I yeah, get it. I, you know. Anyway. So, but I'm saying we're going to have positive. Technically, if I move in here and Spencer moves where I'm at, that's, that's, kind of look, at the, look at the shading. It's close to an Oreo. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Just do your shit. Oh, I can sing for you too. But anyway, so... So let's get some <laughs> positives out of the way. The graphics are beautiful. Let's understand that. They are. They are probably the best graphics I've seen on the PlayStation 4 to date. There might be a racing game that's better, but no, I do usually kind of don't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's better. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. But there are there are issues with it. There are a couple frame rate hiccups. I do have another complaint about it that it needs to run at 24 FPS. Oh, and not oh I 30. thought this was an Oreo. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. It needs to run at 24 FPS because that is cinema style, and you'll understand why I make that argument later. No, I understand. Um, but Completely. 30 FPS is kind of unacceptable, and that I, it's weird that I would say in a game that that's too high. But that's how that's how it is. It's all about the presentation. And the other positive is that the voice acting is phenomenal. The acting in general, the motion cap, and everything so is really good. So we know good. Hayden Couple, Panettiere. Or whatever yeah, Hayden Panettiere is in, in it. The the mummy guy from uh, Night Night at the Museum was in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Peter Storm. Peter Storm, Gord, uh, the guy from Prison Break. Yeah, he was in the it. Russian. Oh wait, the, older guy? gentleman, older gentleman. Yeah, yeah. he's I in it. it. So there's a lot, like the the acting and the motion cap is really good. There's a couple little hiccups, but it's kind of the same thing I've seen with every other game that I've seen with motion capture in it. Another notable actor, also I can't, I don't know his name, but he uh, stars in uh, Agents of Shield. Uh, he's the. Uh, uh, Agent Coulson? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's uh, the one of the male heart throbs in the beginning. Fucking oh, is that played by Mike? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can see it. It's played yeah. by me. Mike Thank is you. very beautiful. <clears throat> but okay, so so those are the two positives. And now for my podcast topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Two positives. Yay! See, I'm a good guy. All right, let's talk about the gameplay. So, <laughs> of, or lack thereof, <laughs> this is a Telltale game minus any puzzles. And minus most uh, actual action-oriented stuff, huh. uh, there is a lot of there's a lot of quick time events, and they do it that in groups of three. Don't matter. Yeah, apparently most of them don't even matter. Like you, <laughs> you're running. You're you missed running, it, but you still got out. <laughs> you're running down like a pathway where you have to like run from people and stuff. So you're running down there, and there's like trees on the way, and you have to like triangle to like duck under the tree but if you That's even you if duck. you just don't hit triangle you'll be like ah <laughs> just keep still running. runs and they just get up and keep <laughs> running keep adrenaline's going. powerful <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit it's, ah! it's, you might as well only hold the button down for certain moves and stuff like that because that's all that really matters most of the game you could probably just hold forward on the controller and you'd probably be fine it's there's no puzzles i mean there, there's slight puzzle elements that go into it find the aerosol can yeah find find this to do this but i mean it's just a big place to explore at and then it just shrinks and shrinks into corridors pretty much for the rest of the game fun fun so well, it, that that one puzzle I, the one thing i did notice is when they were like oh we need we need a key and then it like almost throws the key in your face <laughs> And then it's like, oh, okay. We need this. I, it's not even a question of where does this key go? What door could this key right. go to? It's, oh, it's that one thing over there. Okay. There is no, like, could it be this door later on that I need this key for? No. 
Yeah, it's, it'd be like if, if in The Legend of Zelda there was only one door and <laughs> no other rooms. Yeah, and there was a the, key there, and you're like, this and, and this door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean... <laughs> so there was, it was very very limited in the gameplay development one of the big things they wanted to do was a butterfly effect which is the, I, I saw some the actions you take early in the game will have like a trickle down effect later and things will change based on that it's a batamasaur so like if you so, lock a door another person that's trying to get through that area yeah like, that's the idea yeah and, and you, you, d you develop relations with people and if you piss somebody off early in the game Later on, they might not be so inclined. We did experience that when we were playing Until Dawn last night. Yeah. So we experienced one of the really <laughs> bad... Mr. Microsoft? Uh, yeah. Like one of those, you treat someone bad, or even yeah. if you do what they tell you to do, they then assume that you're treating them bad. It's girls. Why you know, yeah, girls? It's just, oh, God. They, they, they're seriously, there's a confusing part. Do I look pretty? Yeah, you do. You're a fucking whore! <laughs> it's kind of like that, actually. It kind of was. She was like, do this, do this. I, I want to do this for you. And you do it. And later on, she's like, oh, fuck you for doing that. Like, <laughs> it's like, really wait, weird. wait. It's your <laughs> fault. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the butterfly, like, it's, a no it's a novel concept, and I like the idea mm -hmm. that you can go backwards to previous chapters and then, like, change it so you can then go change what's going forward so you don't have to play the entire fucking game over again. Mm -hmm. um, but that's once you beat it, right? You can't do that. I think you can just do it in general. Okay. I wouldn't necessarily know because I beat it in one shot. <laughs> so I never actually had the point where I go back in time. And that All is right, my, speed runner. How many my, hours did you sit and do this? That is my other thing. Uh, I beat this game in less than six hours. I saw a bunch of reports that say this game is eight to ten hours long. Start playing at night. It didn't even take until dawn. <laughs> 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 Word of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Roll credits. Go. So uh, the whole point of the game, though, is to have everyone stay alive. No, How it's not. The whole point of the game is to uh, ha end the story uh, the way that you do you were see intended fit. to okay. the end you So the, 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 hundred, the 100 percent ending would be to keep everyone alive. Right. How That's many no did fun. you have alive at the end of the game? I think I had three. Three alive out three of eight. Alive. Did you let some people die, or was it all like out of your control? Like you're like Shit. it was. It was due to my lack of ability to hold the controller straight or press quick time events in the correct function. So you can't play Resident Evil <laughs> Four. Pretty much. No, no. <laughs> I hate quick time. The Krauser scene is gonna get you. I, I, I was really excited that quick time events ended in the last generation. I thought there was a, a lull where, where they didn't what? happen anymore for you a little bit, and now it's like every again they're just they're there's going gonna be a new God of War, and you know they're coming back. <laughs> they're going straight. Smash circle to rip the skull off. <laughs> They're going straight back to quick time. That's events. at least rewarding. Like this is just don't run into a tree. It gets old. <laughs> you know, Adamasaur asks, it doesn't go all Mass Effect 3 on us where it doesn't actually matter who lives or dies. It actually doesn't. Whoever lives or dies, they just talk at the end like, I wish that I was able to help him. Ah. And that's it. <laughs> what, them dying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's well, all it is. Well, for anyone who's actually uh, played through Mass Effect and really experienced that, it's really a huge letdown so it's good that yeah that they actually kind of give you a oh no this game is a letdown I, I, in my in my opinion the story That's review folks <laughs> <laughs> the story the story was not good now here's what i will say the first two thirds of it kind of comprised the normal you know slasher hacker film. slasher film which is great. which is what they're going for which is stupid it's a stupid movie but it is what it is it's, it's, a, it's a bunch of kids who are like tricking each other like oh scary let's have sex scary <laughs> things are funny and let's have a sex a lot of sex though and they, there and they, really? There's no sex, but there's a lot of alluding. Yeah, there's a lot of alluding. Yeah, I think too. you're running around with Hayden Panettiere's character, and she's actually in a bathrobe the entire time. Yeah, not yeah. the entire time. For well, a good time. half of the time, <laughs> yeah. she's in a towel. I was like, damn, girl. Like, but, uh, it's what? the strongest freaking Velcro towel of all time. Right. I'm surprised she's able to do that. <laughs> a little disappointed, too. But. Me, too. <laughs> but she... Gentlemen. The, so but the story... Yeah, so the story, you know, it, it is what it is. It's a stupid horror movie, and I get it. Like, that's kind of cool. You can make a cool slasher film. It then evolves, quote-unquote, into something else where it's a little bit more delving into other kinds of territory with it. And they basically tried to mash two different games together, two different stories, I should say, yeah. into one that are completely different. And it's like, how do we make this work? This kind of makes sense. Thematically, it makes no sense. Um, from a plot, it makes... You could argue it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Things don't have to work that way. You know, they shouldn't work that you know, way. You know, it's kind of, it felt kind of like Doctor Who to me, the way the story worked. 
Yeah, it's where bit. you have to just open yourself up to whatever's going to happen. You just kind of have to roll with it. Because, uh, yeah, probably, Daniel. Uh, sorry. What did he say? He, uh, he said, so Heavy Rain would be a positive example of death. Yeah, Heavy Rain, if, if they die early in the story, you never hear from them again. Yeah, this game forces you to learn their stories regardless. Really? And they'll, they'll kill them off like towards the end of that arc. So you, you even, we've tried to kill them many times while they're running away. Eric, I don't know if he did it on purpose or he's just bad at quick time events, but Eric, <laughs> I bad think you did it on time purpose. events. I think you did it on purpose, where, where you're trying to like make them fail when they're running to their next target. Oh yeah, yeah. And we, we would try, and they'd still make it. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, Shit. okay, so we have to see what the st- these stupid people are gonna do. We we last night we met up, we partied, and we threw on until dawn, and we started. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the hair of the dog right now. We're trying to curb that. Um, I, d- I didn't. <clears throat> so the. Uh, the we were playing last night and i was like dude i want to see some people die i want to make them i want to kill them <laughs> so because i wanted to see how quick like i f- i felt if i killed more characters we could beat it in less time because it'd be less story for us to go through that's, yeah that's <clears throat> true so i was trying to kill them so i was failing every quick time event that i came across until they confused the crap out of me but i was failing them constantly yeah and all it did was just uh, like the snowball fight. Yeah, the chick yeah. was getting pelted in the face constantly. I'm like, well, one of these snowballs just kill her already. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's glass in there. Yeah. But like, I, it, it's teaching you how to use the quick time events and stuff. But it, I was failing a lot of things on purpose and tripping over things and running into things and miss and just not reacting to things to see what would happen. Yeah. Nothing happened. Nothing changed. It just the story continued. He he obviously played it before me and was like, it's the same thing. This is the same story. This is this. Nothing changed. That's depressing. It still pushed you through the story, even if you failed all the quick time events and stuff. Now, obviously, there are certain quick time events uh, that you can't fail, and the character survives. Yeah, they're very. You'll know what they are when you get to them, though. It's yeah, very it's, clear. It's, it's very down. obvious that you're in danger at that moment. Yeah. So if you know, like, sh- shoot, if I like, there was like, I was climbing up a cliff, and I missed the quick time event, and I'm like, I actually missed that one. And my character just fell down to the base, and then I had to start the whole climb again. That was it. No damage, no nothing. Yeah, nobody has health, so it's like, oh well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was mildly inconvenient. Yeah. <laughs> it was mildly inconvenient. The climb. Don't, the climb? That's one of her songs. Oh, okay. I didn't know that because I don't man. have her album. I don't either. <laughs> God. Kind of disgusts me right it's now. Okay, mildly. <laughs> so there was that. That was kind of frustrating. Yeah. It's kind of disappointing on that end. The story, again, I'm not. I'm not huge into how the story ended. It was very bleh. I have not seen the ending of the story, but up and I saw the first two thirds of the game that he's talking about, where it's it's a hacker slasher horror. I saw up to that point, and I was satisfied. I was okay with the story. Honestly, there's a plot twist. If it ended at the plot twist, I'd kind of be okay with it. I'd be mm-hmm. like, I definitely wouldn't recommend sixty dollars for that. But even still, it it was fine. And then from then on, it takes a completely different turn, and it's like really confusing. Yeah, I started the second phase of the story, and it was kind of like, eh. <laughs> yeah. Then we quit. And, yeah, it was two a.m. For anyone was... who wants to realize a game that really shits on you and what you think, it essentially goes artistic on you and goes, "Fuck you, this is what's going on." Play Nico Prophecy or Xeno Gears. <laughs> well, I meant in the realm of oh, genre, gotcha, gotcha. Of same genre, whatever this fucking genre yeah. is. <laughs> It starts off being like, the first scene is, you wake up, you're in a bathroom, and you apparently killed this guy, and you need to hide the evidence. Super suspenseful, super interesting. Shit, where do I put blank? Right? Get the blender. And then <laughs> later on in the story, it's like, oh, I'm fighting dust mites, because I'm freaking the fuck out. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Well, you know, I compare it to other games in the genre right now. And, like, I actually hold this in lower regard than Life is Strange. And Life is Strange, while I think it has a lot of flaws, it does a lot of this stuff, but a lot better, unfortunately. I think it's got a more interesting story. If you really, really want the horror element, that's cool. It's got a horror element to it. It's not very scary. It's a lot of jump scares. Oh, really? And it's predominantly jump scares. Oh, that sucks. Just, like, and in fact, the parts where we were doing it, like, every other scene was a jump scare. Yeah. It's just, ah! There was, like, two that actually got me. Well, jump scares aren't really... I know, it's not real real fear. Yeah, it's just and like, they were constant. Like shit! Oh, yeah, they were they constant. They were constant, now that I really look back on it. It was really annoying. Mm. They, so, they do have an interesting mechanic where you, uh, this guy interviews you and asks you what you're most afraid of. 
and then they just flood the game with those things. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed you're afraid of dogs. Here's a bunch of dogs. <laughs> you don't like crows? Is there an option for spiders? Uh, no. No, I think there's cockroaches. Cockroaches, oh. rats, crows, dogs. Uh, it's kind of blunt, though. It's snakes. Like, what are you afraid of? Because we're going to use it against yeah. you. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of lame. Cheers, mate. <laughs> but so basically, overall, the sound was all right. The music was good. The voice actor was phenomenal. I really like the Josh character. I think he nailed it. Yeah. Didn't I when we when I first uh, I watched like the first hour of the game, and I was like, dude, this guy creeps me out. Yeah. And yeah, he he's definitely creepy. So so I think I think he nailed it. I mean, Hayden Panteri was good. They were all good. I think they were all pretty good at what yeah. they were trying to if do. If anything, it, uh, as far as the medium goes, it makes it easier for Hollywood actors to kind of get involved yeah. with this stuff. That's the weird part about the it, though, is that too. a lot of, in a lot of this stuff, it's it's creepy to me that we have a famous person do a voiceover for a character, and then in the game, they make that character look like the actor. To me, that's just weird. It's like, what if you just get slaughtered? Like, why don't you just make something different or cool instead? Like, you might as well just make a movie at this point. You, that's essentially what this game is. Yeah, and it, it's like that Quantum Break thing that I was telling you that we watched a while ago. Yeah. They're actually using real footage from... Like, they're not animating them. It's real footage. Yeah. yeah. So why not just go that route at least? <laughs> Well, you know, that's what Spencer does. You want to, like, <laughs> just Daniel thinks I'm too negative, and he wants to, like, I, I will say the positives again. Graphics, gorgeous. Absolutely probably one of the most gorgeous games I've ever seen. There's some a couple stuttering problems, and there's yeah. a frame rate issue there, but regardless, uh, the sound and voice acting is fantastic. Mm -hmm. The cons are the story I didn't care for, especially at the later end of the game. I'll the, say it's fine. He'll say it's fine. Uh, I'm a little more uh, uh, specific in how I want a story. And uh, I look deeper, and that's probably a bad thing for this game. Uh, the other cons would be that it's very quick, finished in about less than six hours. I think if you actually took your time and fully explored the game, though, and you and you yes, really cared, you, know, you, could, you could argue, yeah, you're a speedrunner, but can you really speedrun this game? What did I miss? Well, <laughs> okay, so I, 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 you there are, did you see all the the clues and things that you can get? All the additional story like the you could have gained. And all that crap? Not just the totems, but the clues. I saw a bunch of them, but I'm not gonna go look for every goddamn thing. Right, because you didn't care about the story. Yeah. But if you wanted more story out of it, or if you wanted more detail on it, yeah. you can go hunt all that stuff down. It'll it'll extend the game. He's blaming it on you. Because I we did run into a couple things where. Uh, we ran into, I don't want to spoil anything, but we ran into a couple items that you found and it explained and filled in gaps of the story that you missed on your first playthrough. Yeah, missed. <laughs> ignored. So I, I will say that exploring could extend the game and make it a little more worth it. Yeah. But I'm pretty much in agreement with uh, your price recommendation. So, so yeah, my, my recommendation would be wait till this game is $20. It warrants $20. It's a nice tech demo if you're not into story. And if you're into story, it's a great $20 that you can spend like in one or two days. It's like a party game. Really too. blasting through it. Oh, sort of. Yeah. Where you could be like, hey guys, let's see who lives. We played it as a party game. The problem is that the girls were only interested in little parts and kind of fell asleep. Wait, and they were just... No, well, I, the, no. everyone was being loud. Like, I was trying to hear every bit of dialogue yeah. and I was missing out on so much of it. Yeah. And obviously you can't lip read a video yet. game. Daniel not says, <laughs> uh, part of the story's problems may be caused by the source material, which is slasher flicks. And that's absolutely true. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're never really good. Um, and then that's the thing is, if it ended as just a just a horror film slasher film, I'd kind of be okay with it. But yeah. it didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It it went into a different territory with it. But anyway, so that's what I'd recommend. Twenty bucks. I think that's a solid twenty bucks. Solid wait till and it'll be there sooner than you think. I would say <laughs> at, I would say at twenty bucks you're getting a deal. I would say from my experience of the game, I would say thirty, thirty five would be kind of where I would price if, you're, it if you really want to replay this game eight <clears throat> times, yeah. If you if you're just in it for like the afternoon, fuck it. I wouldn't do that. I'd go as high as forty. If if you were if you were like uh, we were quoted a minute ago by Adam Sor, uh, <laughs> as long as you just lay back and let it happen like Doctor Who, and just accept it. Uh, yeah, you got to kind of dumb down your expectations. For uh, yeah, to, to appreciate it a little more, I think. Overall, I will say this guys. game is overhyped, and if you come at it with less expectations, you will be happy spending forty dollars. So get on Game Flip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, well, I'm Spencer. I'm Eric. And I'm a sellout. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a like and comment below. We do videos including quizzes every Tuesday and a podcast every Friday. Check us out on twitch.tv slash this is the itch and the itchnetwork.com where you can check out links to our podcast and our friends at Does This Game Suck. If you have any questions or topics for us, email us at the show at the itchnetwork.com. And don't forget, we do new videos every week. <laughs>